I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today we're going to do a really quick update on Olivia's quilt. I am so excited that everybody is looking into it and is going to sew along with me. So that's a thrilling yes, yes. Um, a couple of people have asked me about the cutting and one of my viewers, Churn Dash, thank you very much caught a mistake that I had made in the first video. We're all human, we all make mistakes. What I'm trying to do with this quilt is I wanna make it completely out of fat quarters. So this one behind me was originally made with yardage, so I had to do some recalculating. And based on if we did the two and a half, the nine, and then the five inch strip, we would really barely have enough to do it. Based on what I had given you, our big square, our nine square, should have actually been nine and a half. Well, there really isn't enough fabric in a fat quarter to accommodate that. So this is what we're doing so that we're all clear and everybody's on the same page. When you take a fat quarter, your first strip is going to be two and a half inches by 22. Your second strip is going to be nine inches by 22. Your third strip is going to be four and three quarters inches wide by 22 inches, all right? Then after you've made that first cut, you're gonna take your two and a quarter inch strip and set that aside. You're gonna take your nine inch strip and you're gonna cut that into segments that will be two nine inch square blocks, okay? Set those in a different pile. Then your third subcut is going to be your four and three quarter inch strip, and you're going to cut that into four squares that are four and three quarters inches. Then we'll all come out right. Uh, doing it the other way, you would have had too big of a block as all as it was. So I'm gonna go through, I've got all of my papers here, I'm going to go through on every single quilt what you need to cut, and I'm going to put all of the information below. Plus, stick around because I've got something neat at the end, okay? You need, what you need on this is based on fat quarters. So if you're going to use yardage and not fat quarters, it's going to be a little bit different. And what I would like you to do is just email me so that we don't confuse everybody and I will send you what yardage you need of a print and a solid to be able to make the quilt, all right? But I want you to know, by using the fat quarters, we're able to make our quilt top and all of our binding, so our binding is gonna be really scrappy, which I've done scrappy bindings before and I'm telling you, they're gorgeous, okay? So if you're going to be making a table runner, and the table runner is, do I have the size here? No, I don't. The table runner is not huge, just a simple table runner. To make the table runner, which is relatively small, it's not very big, it should fit on most tables, you are going to need two fat quarters and then one quarter yard of a white fabric. Okay, that's for the table runner. And I don't think anybody has said they're making the table runner. If you are, let me know, please. So that's the table runner. Now the throw. The throw is 59 and a half by 59 and a half. And you're gonna need 13 fat quarters and seven eighths of a yard of white fabric, okay? Your next one is a twin, and a twin is 68 inches by 85 inches. And for that, you're gonna need 20 fat quarters and one in three eighths inches, or I'm sorry, and one in three eighths yards of white fabric, okay? Next one is a queen. If you're making a queen size, which is what I'm making, I'm doing at least a queen size, you're going to need 33 fat quarters and two and one quarter yards of white. 
Now the queen is 93 and a half by 102. To make a king size, which is 102 by 110 and a half, you're going to need 39 fat quarters and two and three quarters yards of white fabric. Now on Tuesday, I'm gonna show you all my cut up blocks because I've cut them all. And I'm at that point in time going to show you the video on how I square up yardage so that I can cut my blocks, all right? Yardage is a difficult thing for a lot of people to cut, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. May not be the way you do it, but this is the way that I do it, okay? Now, the biggest news of all that I am truly, truly excited about, I can hardly sit in my chair, is I finally got around to creating a Facebook page so that we can all share pictures of everything that we've been doing. To me, we got to start sharing because you guys are seeing what I'm making, but I'm not seeing what you're making. And I really and truly would like to see all of the different fabrics you're using and what exactly it is that you're making. So please do share along. I really do want to see it. So that's the end of this video. As I said, it's just a really quick one to give everybody an update, let everybody know. Now remember, you're cutting your strips two and a half inches by the width of the fabric. These are the fat quarters, two and a half inches by the width of the fabric, nine inches by the width of the fabric, and four and three quarters inches by the width of the fabric. And then you've got yardage to cut, and I'm gonna show you on Tuesday how to go about cutting the yardage. So thanks so much for joining me. Pop on out to Facebook if you are on Facebook and ask to join the group called Margaret Lewin Quilting. I can't wait to see you there, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.